Hey everyone, how's it going? So, sorry this video has taken me actually forever to get out, but I've just made another design improvement to the sorter, and I'm finally ready to share with you the new best multi-item sorter in Minecraft. So this is it right here, and this is all the redstone for it. So right away, the biggest improvements from my previous design uh, the biggest, biggest one is that it's 100% quiet now, it doesn't make any noise. The other pretty big improvement is it doesn't take any starting system, no starter clock. I always didn't really like that part of it, it was kind of always the most confusing part, and seemed to always have the most problems. So now we got that completely eliminated, and this thing is also pretty much just as fast, and overall just works a lot cleaner than the other one. So to kind of take you a quick run through of how it works, is we got our input chest. So any items you want to sort into the system just get put into here. Then they'll start to move along the system and try to get stacked on top of any of the items you have in this chest. So currently I have it filled up with all one item, but you could swap this out with whatever items you want. You could even have every single one of these slots be a different item on every single chest and it will still sort into those. So pretty much continuing on with the system, we got these three chests here, these are all the sortable chests. So anything put into it will try to be stacked on top of any of these. And I'll try to stack on it, try to stack on it, but if it's not, it just ends up on the output chest. And it's pretty much just here for you to either collect, empty out a new slot for it, or just something kind of like that. So then showing it in action, right now we have all these chests with no items besides their actual filler slot items. But you can see there's nothing stacked up on top of them, and our output chest is completely empty. Now what I'm going to do is start to fill up this thing with my full pockets like this. So, I actually won't even be quick enough, I'll just kind of do it like this, but we'll throw these in all at random, we'll try to scatter it up, and try to really create the worst case scenario for this machine to show it totally in action. So I'm kind of just scrambling them like this to see if we could get it to freak out at all. So we'll move all these around, and I think that's going to be a pretty hard time for it. So if we go and look in the back, you can see things firing off and working, going into action. So what's going on is those items are flowing down into this dropper, being sensed by the comparator, and all this circuit is really doing is just activating this torch, which then activates both of our droppers, and also locks this hopper right here, which is very important. So what that does is that item gets dispensed into this hopper, and since this bottom one is locked, it's not able to flow down into the hopper quite yet, it tries to flow into the chest first, and so if the item's able to stack into something in the chest, it will flow out into that chest, but if not, it's going to continue on once that hopper unlocks into our next segment and continue that process all the way to the output chest or until it's sorted. So the full thing is all done now, this thing is pretty quick, and if we go and look at all of our different sections, all of our unsortable items ended up here, all of the quartz stacked on top of this, pink dye, and diamonds, that's actually super awesome to see, I've just barely started testing out this design, and there it is, totally working. So I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but this is also a modular design where there's a repeating system. You can see these two blocks keep repeating on and on. So if you wanted to add more chests to this, all you have to do is repeat this one segment as many times as you like. You could have pretty much infinite storage on this thing and you'll get more and more sorted chests. And you'll just have your one input chest, one output chest, and as many of these as you like. And if you want to build this thing, here's kind of what I got going on. So we got our input chest that goes on top of this hopper. The hopper into the first dropper then this dropper is facing directly upwards into this one and then the top one is facing towards our output chest kind of to make it go farther down the line this hopper is pointing into the chest and the one below it is pointing into the next bottom dropper and then it's just repeating that pattern over and over and then for our redstone it's just a comparator coming out of that dropper pointing into a block with the torch on it, that torch activates the redstone, which activates a repeater. You want this to be set with no delay at all. That pretty much makes it so it could keep up with the speed of all the items flowing in. But this repeater points into this block that the comparator is also on, and just has a torch right here that activates the dropper. So anytime anything is sensed, this torch comes on and powers it up. Then just repeat that design as many times as you like. It's pretty easy to turn this thing and stuff, but I won't go in too much into explaining that, at least not in this video. But you can definitely do quite a bit with it. And then just to kind of end it with our output chest, is you pretty much just kind of have your top dropper pointing into the output chest or pointing into a hopper, and then to the output chest. And really the only other thing I'll show you is that you could have a comparator coming out of this output chest. So anytime any items are in there, it will detect it. And then have a redstone dust right here 
and kind of just have a light. It's just one idea. So anytime you have, oh, I need to grab my light. Come on, little light. And then just have a light so you get sense whenever there's any items in the output chest. So yeah, just a quick idea right there. So yeah, there you go. That's kind of the way you do it. But guys, that is really kind of it. This thing is just super simple and easy to build. So that's pretty much all I have to say about it. My next video, I think I might do another item sort of design. But if I can't quite get that one going, then I want to show you my ultimate god tier item sorter. It's a lot more complicated than this one. But as far as using it, it is the nicest thing just to ever exist in Minecraft. So yeah, that's really it. If you're a big creator watching this, ready to steal the design and make a your own video on it, and give me a little one second credit at the end, please don't. Like really, please don't. I've had enough designs get stolen. But for everyone else, I appreciate you a ton, and thank you so much for watching.